Alrighty guys, um, ain't really been out here uh, much today, but uh, I'm going to be trying this stuff uh, for sealing on this. I've never used that before, but I've got the port work done. Here's the exhaust. Here's the uppers and the lowers. This intake was uh, funky shape to begin with. Um, unless I go with a single ring piston, there's not much I can do about that. It's just just where the pins and stuff end up being. So, but I cut the band. There's the exhaust. So I cut the base, the band. I didn't take much out of the, the band, I think about 30 thousandths. Uh, move the exhaust to 100. The transfers are at 120 on this and 76 on the intake, and it's got 22 thousand squish. We'll be running this twin ring meteor piston uh, with the cabers. So I think I'm going to pause you guys. I'm going to be running this bigger intake too versus the intake that it came with. There's quite a size difference there. So uh, I think I'm going to pause you guys, get this wheel, and I got to get this cleaned up. And all that good, happy stuff. So well, let me pause you. Alrighty. The piston is hung. I'm going to lube up the bearings. I'll put a thin layer of lube on the inside of the cylinder. Surfaces. I've never used this stuff. Stuff's supposed to be non setting. And the idea behind it is hopefully, if I have to tear this apart or whatever, I don't have to, I can just wipe this stuff off. I don't have to spend uber amounts of time on it to. clean back up. Stuff was pricey. Right. 
Definitely doesn't want to come off my finger. I do with my I oiled the wrist pin as well uh, when I put the clips and stuff in the pin on. Oh, I didn't use the Farmer Tech one either. I used an OEM uh, wrist pin bearing. What do I do with my Greeks? This is just grease for uh, greasing the, the bar. Lost my razor blade. That is one of the most lost things in my shop is razor blades.
confined to this Chinese clamp. The screwdriver didn't fit it very well. I don't know where my good screwdriver went. Alrighty, uh, A socket, aren't you? I have to put, find some rope and put down in there. Well, I think the next step. Probably switching out all the stuff on the gas tank. I'm going to take the master control switch, tank vent. Maybe if this tank's no good, it's broke right here. I'll steal this piece off too. Transplant that. Over onto the aftermarket tank as well. So, hey, I think I'm gonna pause you guys while I get all this stuff switched around. Alrighty, jabbed a screwdriver through my finger, but OEM tank vents in, master control switch is switched, that piece is on there, I did tighten the flywheel uh, uh, off camera, but uh, let's get the muffler on here, heat deflector shield, I did gasket match it, let's set that there. Then I got the gasket, gasket matched that as well. Then on the muffler matched it as well. Opened up that, uh, that stock location hole right there. Let's get a couple of bolts started here so nothing. I got a roll of solder holding the other side of the saw up to hold it like this in this in this position. I'm gonna start that. And I'm gonna start I'm gonna run them down. Make sure my impact's clean. put a decomp plug in it too I found thought if when I come across it I'm like 
spoons are scarce around here. When I come across it, I was like, I better put that in before I lose it. Using the Farmer Tech uh, bolt, the dual port muffler cover, I enhanced the outlet on it there as well. I just thought of something. Let's pull that back off. I'm going to be heating my bar oil up. I guess that was a test fit. We'll just call it that. We got this piece we got to put on there yet. Try to botch it all up, but this keeps the heat off your oil tank. And if you don't have this, you can run down to the hardware store and pick up some for heating places. I'm going to botch this up bad. Put them down right. All right, good enough for who it's for. All right, let's prop this back up. Start this all over again. At least I didn't get too far. reason I start these bottom ones is because when you do machine work sometimes the stuff don't line up and if you have that if you have that started then you know it'll line up if you notice I don't tighten down with imp impacts Alrighty. I'm pretty sure this thing's gonna have some good compression. Alright, so I did plug my uh, impulse hose on there too. 
So I think I'm going to call this a video here, and then we'll continue on with the next one. You guys have a good one.